Hi, how's it going? I'm here with my bag of grapes. I'm not gonna do art with them though, but I'm also here with a box of acorns. That's right, I am painting on acorns today. Not this one though, this one is disqualified because it has no cap. Also, is that mold? I hope these don't get moldy. Nah, they're not moldy, we're good. I guess I'll start out by counting them and seeing how many I have to work with. Okay, I have four groups. So I'm thinking I'll come up with four design variations and do four per kind. So in keeping with the time of year, I want to work with some fall colors. So I went and I got some apple barrel paint from Walmart. I'm not sure how this would hold up to a landscape painting, but for craft painting, it's actually pretty legit. This one's not even apple barrel. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I have the colors Sunny Day, Jack-O-Lantern, well that's appropriate, Flamenco Red, and arbor green um so i thought these were appropriately fall themed colors so i'm gonna do a combination of all of these with the gold and probably white but before i get into painting i'm going to go ahead and give them all a little clean because they're a little dirty from being on the dirt oh, i just got simple green all over my paper All right, well, washing acorns is not how I thought I was going to be spending my evening today, but they're all clean now. So next step, I'm gonna go through and pick out which ones I want to paint the caps and which ones I want to paint the bottoms. Actually, that's too much of a decision to make all at once, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna jump in and start painting and see what happens. Hi, baby. Which acorn will be the first big? You know, honestly, I'm really liking this one right now. So I guess first thing I have to do is decide if I wanna paint the top or if I wanna paint the bottom. I think I wanna paint the bottom. I'm gonna start with some red. Let's just go right in and see what this experience is going Oh. This red is bad. Look how bad that is. I'm gonna have to put three billion coats on this. Oh, it's so bad. Maybe I take back what I said about apple barrel paint. Should I gesso my acorns? I don't want to though. I don't want to have to gesso my acorns. You know, maybe I'll just go for a wood stain vibe because that's kind of what I'm getting from this so far. Um, so I'm gonna set this one down to dry. See, what I didn't do is figure out where I can set this so it won't be on wet paint, but you know what? We're just gonna... Oh my goodness, is it sticking at all? This might be a disaster. Alright, so we're doing one side at a time. It is what it is. Well, I guess we're starting with base coats. So this is the next acorn that I'm choosing. This is another one I wanna paint the bottom on, and I'm gonna paint this one green. I wonder if the simple green is what's causing my paint issues here. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the cap gold. I just really wanna open up this gold paint. Oh, 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 okay. Ooh, ooh, I am liking that. Ooh, that's fun. These are hard to hold though. Oh 
no! It's okay, he's fine, he lived. I kind of want to try to do a gradient on this great big one. Let's see what happens. I don't know how well this is going to go. Yeah, that looks bad. Maybe I'll do a candy corn. Whoa, the yellow goes on good. That's cute. Okay, so the paint is definitely not sticking on this. I might have to let it dry overnight before I try the second coat. Ugh. See, what? I don't know if you can tell what it's doing here. It's like, it's coming off. Mm. These might have to be rustic. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna come back to this tomorrow and see how well I can do a second coat on these once they've had more time to dry. And hopefully that'll keep the paint from coming back up again like it did this time. All right, it's been a couple days and I'm back with the acorns. Regretfully, it was as I suspected, the paint does not stick well at all. We did have one flop. This one that I was going to paint with stripe is just looking bad. It was just plain old looking bad. I probably should have done gesso first, honestly, if I wanted to try to pull this off. But then, like, I set it down one time and all the paint started chipping off. Uh, so I decided not to do this one after all. What I did do, though, I painted a couple more. So I've got two red ones. I've got two with plain bases, but the caps are painted gold. And I've got two green ones. This one over here is still drying, so I'm not counting it yet. But here's my other green one point at which my microphone decided to disconnect, but basically what I'm doing here is I'm just showing you the colors that I'm going to use. So for the red one, I'm thinking about using an orange Posca pen for details and yellow for the green ones. Um, and this is just because I want to keep this from looking Christmassy because this is real close to looking Christmassy. All right, so I'm starting out with the first red one, and for this design, I thought it would be fun to just draw some little pumpkins on here. So what I'm doing is just making a super simple pattern with pumpkins and going around the surface of the acorn. And then I connected the pumpkins with this little swirly line pattern sort of thing. And I went ahead and I put that around all the pumpkins. Going in for a second coat now and adding in the stems. At this point, they are looking a little bell peppery, but that's okay. We're going to fix it shortly. So now what I'm doing is just adding a little bit of roundness. Oh yeah, there we go. That turned them into pumpkins. All right, jumping to the next one. I wanted to make sort of a wheat looking pattern on this one. So I just drew in this little shape with the yellow and it ended up looking like that. And I actually set this one aside to dry and moved on to the first gold capped one. Now this one I decided I just wanted to paint on a super simple leaf outline. Uh, so I looked up a couple leaf designs and I ended up with an oak leaf shape and then this other three leaf little twig thing. And I just alternated those two designs across the entire surface of the acorn. Now, initially I had issues with the Posca pen sticking and I thought maybe it was going to flake off, but it actually ended up being okay. And this was the result I got from that. It's simple, but it's cute. All right, so back to the first one. I'm just adding in another coat of orange over the pumpkins to kind of seal it in and make it more of a flat color. Back to the green one, I'm adding in another sprig of wheat or maybe a flower. I'm not really sure what this is, but I do think it kind of reads as fall, so I'm satisfied with it. 
All right, next one. This one I had some trouble with. I thought I would do a maple leaf design on it in yellow. Uh, yeah, that does not look like a leaf at all. At all. Let's try again. Nope, still doesn't look like a leaf. Take number three. This is the one. It looks like a star. Congratulations. Take four. Another. Well, I don't know. That one is kind of... Oh, painted on myself again. I think this last one was the most successful leaf shape. But if you look at it from a distance, maybe without your glasses on, I think it might read as leaves. So now I'm just going back in and doing a second coat of yellow to make sure it's nice and opaque. And lastly, I'm just adding in some little dots around to add some more texture to it. And this is our yellow leaf design acorn. Definitely not one of my favorites, but... It is what it is. Back to this green one again for the last and final little wheat design. Just, you know, repeating it around the whole acorn and quick up to the next gold capped one. So this one, uh, just to be on my own brand, I thought it would be fun to draw some mushrooms on it. So inspired by the sketchbook spread I did a few weeks ago, I just doodled in some simple mushroom designs. Had a little trouble coming up with something for this last little space. I felt like I kind of exhausted my design choices. But I ended up coming up with something, and then I filled in the empty space with these little swirls. So the final green one, I just wanted to do a really simple design on this. I decided to go with the orange, and what I'm doing here is just a little branch with some berries on it, and I'm just repeating that pattern around the acorn. This one, I actually ended up liking this one quite a bit. It's simple, but I think it kind of reads as what it's supposed to be. And lastly, I just went back in and added a few extra berries around for some more texture, and this was the final result. So here are all the finished acorns. We've got the two red ones. One has orange details, one has yellow details. Same thing with the two green ones. And then the two gold capped ones both have the white designs on them. Overall, this project got off to a little bit of a rough start. I honestly thought it wasn't gonna work when the paint was not sticking properly, but it ended up pulling through. And the Posca pen actually ended up working really well on that acrylic base that I already had set up there. So I'm happy with that. So one last step that I'm going to do with these is just apply some varnish so they don't uh, chip off like that one did. I think my favorite one is this gold capped one with the leaves on it. But I also like the pumpkin one a lot. And I honestly like the green one with the berries a lot too. I did not paint all of the acorns that I collected in this video. That was way too ambitious. So if you want to see me paint more acorns, I have a whole lot more where these came from. So let me know if you want me to do that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a like and let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye!